There is a requirement to, to decommission in a responsible manner under some very uh, robust um, guidelines uh, and of course that's exactly what we're doing with, uh, with the rent platforms. Understanding the requirements um, and understanding the concerns of our stakeholders has been fundamental to the project and understanding a wide perspective of views as to, uh, as to how do we go about the decommissioning programme has also been very important to us. We sit in a, a very robust and mature regulatory regime with uh, the Department of Energy and Climate Change, DEC. We're also signatories to the OSPAR Convention, the Oslo Paris Convention, um, which uh, safeguards the, uh, the marine environment in the North East Atlantic and, and therefore any decommissioning proposal we, we, we submit also needs to be uh, effectively approved. The OSPAR process and the DEC's um, decommissioning regime are very much uh, kind of built with the lessons of Brent Spa in mind. So there is a requirement to engage with a broad spectrum of stakeholders and for a public consultation phase. We've been engaging with stakeholders since 2007 and that's been done in a number of different uh, mediums, both one-to-one face-to-face -one -face engagements and also by conducting some kind of collective stakeholder events. Uh, there is engagement with other operators to try and drive an efficient uh, and safe decommissioning programme. I think by doing that we're uh, we, we hope to um, have a much more robust decommissioning plan. We're hoping that when we submit our decommissioning programme, it really is submitted on a no-surprises basis.